What's up, guys? Let's go on a little adventure, huh? How about it? Guys! I got a bike, guys! Here we go, here we go! Oh, it's a big bass, guys! <laughs> oh. I think uh, today I want to try something new. I want to go around uh, looking for some crappie, some bass. Freshwater fishing, uh, which I'm not so familiar with. I, all my life I've done saltwater fishing, but I moved to Lake Okeechobee not uh, too long ago, a couple years ago. I've done crappie fishing maybe once or twice, that's it. And uh, the first time I did it, I didn't film and I did really well, but I kind of cheated. I used uh, live minnows. So today I'm gonna pick up live minnows so I can catch some crappie. I am still learning the, the, the little twitching, the little uh, technique with the uh with small little jigs crappie jigs so uh but guys come along with me man and hopefully today the audio is better and you guys can hear me better um and that's it man let's get some some crappie fishing going some freshwater crappie fishing going it'll be like a little bit of a uh freshwater adventure slash lake okeechobee all right guys subscribe Appreciate you guys for watching. <laughs> My name is Alex, by the way. Let's go, guys. Alright guys, let's get to the minnow spot, to the bait shop, pick up some minnows and a few other things for crappie fishing guys. So, just gonna get this here and uh, we call us some people over to get some minnows. And that's what we're gonna do guys. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, so he's gonna show us, uh, give us a little uh, uh, setup for crappie because like I said, I'm new to this man, to the crappie thing. I'm a saltwater guy but... I'm always looking to learn new things, and this guy is the right guy to teach me how to so do it. So we got an assortment of every size fork you can think of. You can go all the way from very small for using light weights, average size for pretty much anything other, everything else. And then I got some bigger ones for some heavier stuff. But that right there. So we're gonna take this and some six-pound test line. I have. Ready. I already have that. Good deal. I already have leader. I have six, ten, and fifteen. So that's all you need. And then go around the corner. Go around the corner. Got a Get some split shot. Most of the stuff you use is fives and fours. Anything fishing deeper, like in the river, you I'll use twos. I take some of these. I think. All right. I think these are gonna work. And then I, I need some hooks. And then the for uh, crappie. Size. That is the, That's the right good size, size hook. Number two Aberdeen. That. Never use small hooks that small, but. Today's the day. That's it. <laughs> well, that's it. But I think yes, that sir. that's it. How long do you think I should leave, uh, let the line out? Depends on how deep you're fishing. If you're fishing in, I think five I'm gonna be. Water. Last time I said two, two years ago, guys, I went to the spot. I killed it, man. I had like I caught like 35 uh, crappie on minnows. I know that's to a lot of people that's cheating. A lot of people use like to use lures yeah. and little crappie jigs. But mm -hmm. you know, I'm new to it. I like having fun. I, I could use lures and I can use light bait. I don't care. It's all about having fun and having a good time, guys. So how long you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to go five, maybe. Uh, you fish five or six feet, cut yes. it in half. Good on the three. Uh, got gotcha. you. See? Halfway up. Yep. There you go. Something new I didn't yes, know. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to pay and then we're going to go to the first spot, guys. All right, guys. So we're going to get some minnows. Let's see what All right. Those are my size too. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's, that'll work. So how, how, how do you sell them? 
by the pound, quarter pound at a time. So a quarter, half, three quarters, six, 12, and $18. All right. Let's go. It's hungry. Waiting for leftovers here. I like this spot right here. This spot right here is good because um, plenty of space. Uh, doesn't get too crowded. Uh, obviously, it's a boat ramp. It's a marina here in Okeechobee. But, and I have fished in the boat ramp when there's not during the week when there's not too much traffic and uh and i've caught crappie there right on the ramp uh with uh, little or crappie jigs caught one or two you know not a lot but i had I, she was awesome I, <laughs> it was my first crappie i ever caught this was about three years ago right after i had uh moved up here to down up here to okeechobee uh, from uh i used to live in day county south florida and uh, don't get me wrong, uh, fishing, uh, fishing is fishing, man. Uh, I don't, like I said, I, the only freshwater fishing I've ever done was uh, for peacock bass down there in Dade County and uh, for La in, in Broward, uh, Broward County is almost in every man-made man -made, man -made, uh, little lake or a pond or channel. There's a bunch of invasive species, you know, like the snakehead. Uh, peacock bass. Well, back in the day when I used to fish, there wasn't that many snakeheads. Now there's supposed to be a, there's an abundance of them. There's a lot of them actually. People, you know, they're trying to get rid of them. But uh, once a species species gets in our area, man, and it's really hard to get, kind of get rid of them. It really is. But anyway, this is not a, this is not a, uh, this is not a uh, snakehead video. So, so we're gonna see what we can do. You know, and uh, we're gonna try to get some fishing done. Well, all right, guys. Hopefully, you guys can hear me well. So, I got the basic setup here. This is what the guy at the bait shop told me, and this is kind of like like what I did last uh, last uh, not not last year, two years ago actually, when I when I did some crappie fishing. Like I said, I didn't film it that day, so I don't have any footage of it, but I got my, my bobber, my floater, and I got a, about a five foot liter. I got a small little, uh, I think one eighth split shot about a foot above the, the hook. And that's it guys. I mean, that's it. That's the basic setup there. So. I get the minnow. Squirmy minnow. Oh gosh. It's like a tiny little finger mullet. And you guys can see it. This is the little minnow. I think they're really cool looking. And then I just hook it through the mouth. Top of the mouth. Just like that. That's what I did two years ago. And it actually worked. I'm, like I said, I caught like 35 crappie guys. Don't have any footage of it. Don't have any pictures. I was new to the area and I was just fishing, just uh, kind of like finding spots and learning learning the lake, you know. So anyway, this is my first spot, guys. This is our first spot. We're going to stop and try for crappie. So there's the first cast. Right in the middle of that, that little area there. You guys can see it. See right there? Right there, that's like... It's a lot bigger in person than it looks on the camera. Just a little idea of where I'm throwing it at. And that, this is where I caught those uh, those crappie uh, two or three years ago. Can't really quite remember, guys, but it, it, it's been a little, it's been a minute. The only difference today is that there's a lot of uh, more uh, lily pads that, uh, that grew out here. And it's probably gonna be a little harder for me to bring out the fish if it doesn't get stuck on the lily pads. So we wait for the bite. And you gotta find them. Sometimes they're deeper, sometimes they're not. Uh, they're a little shallower, so. That's what I did last time. That's what I'm gonna do. Everything I did last time, I'm gonna do it today. And hopefully, uh, we'll catch a couple. Even if I catch one crappie, it'll be it'll be awesome for me. It'll be fun for me, because I, I don't really do a lot of crappie fishing. Also, uh, it's, not the, it's not the right weather for it, for them. It's not, it's not that cold. Uh, it's about 75 degrees. I mean, it's actually perfect body temperature for us but 
crappie like it a little cooler they like to bite when it's cold but today is the only chance i had to come out fishing i didn't want to go too way too far from my home because uh my son has been uh fighting this uh this uh virus that has going has been going around he's getting over it already but just to play on the safe side i don't want to really go too far uh, and do some saltwater fishing. So I figured today I, I'll bring you guys uh, a freshwater video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, hopefully we catch them together. And we can uh, have some fun, guys. That's what it's all about. Let's wait for that bite, guys. I'll be back. When it starts biting, I'll, I'll show you guys. Well, guys, I was here for like an hour and a half. Nothing, nothing, not one single bite. There was five people here and slowly they started leaving. And uh, I fished all this little area, that little uh, opening there. And then I fished all this right under the bridge, right under there. I fished all that, and uh, this one guy on the boat that was very friendly came over here, and uh, we we're just, uh, you know, talking. And he said he had caught six over there within three hours. So, but on on the boat, which is like more in the middle, so I can't really cast that far. But anyways, there's not that many crop crappie. I, uh, a couple years ago, I caught so many here in this little area here, right on the pillars. But so I'm gonna go to the next spot, guys. I'm going to show you a little bit of this little area here. Yeah, a little aerial view of, of the spot. Because it is nice looking. It is a beautiful day. It is a, it's a, it is a nice spot. And uh, I do, I keep, I still think that it's a little too warm today. Warm today. If you're a crappie fisherman, you would know that it's too warm and it's not going to really bite that much. So let's go to the next spot, guys. Check out the scenery. I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Well guys, this is the second spot of the day. I spent about uh, an hour and a half on the other spot and nothing, man. But uh, if you know me personally, you know I never give up. I gotta catch one fish today. And uh, the video, it's like I said, I'm not that good in freshwater, man. I gotta admit it. I gotta, I gotta, that's why I gotta put my time in. I gotta learn it. I gotta learn it. I gotta uh, get skunked out many times until I kind of get the the, the the drift of it you know but this is the, the the next spot right here guys it's just a canal a channel uh going into lake of Okeechobee, and i'm gonna try it out here uh, at one point i came here with my wife uh with some uh earthworms and uh we caught a, a lot of panfish it was pretty fun man that's when my son was kind of a baby and uh this was like the easiest place to bring away you can park the car right there next to you and so other than that, be, uh, besides the car noise, it's a pretty chill spot to catch a uh, small fish. I did catch a couple bass here too, so let's give it a shot, guys. Let's see what happens, man. Hope you guys are enjoying my the little uh, little uh, adventure, the little trip. Guys, subscribe, guys. Subscribe, like, if you can, share. 
All right, let's get let's give me let me get my rods and let's get going. I still got a couple of uh, shine uh, minnows left. Uh, I'm gonna be putting a, min a minnow in a bobber and just l leaving it there for uh, for the bite. And I'm gonna be throwing a a, a crappie jig just uh, to kind of like keep moving, you know. So I don't like to sit down or I just like to keep doing something, you know. I, I that's why I, st I, st I can stay motivated. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Let's get it. I just got here and I think I got a bite. I think something grabbed it and took off with it. It's funny because I just got here and I, I threw it out there and uh, that thing just went boop. Oh, you know? Something definitely grabbed it. Killed it too. Yeah, something grabbed the minnow and killed it. So that's a good sign, guys. That's a good sign. <laughs> Let's put another fresh minnow on there and then see what happens, huh? That was pretty cool. That was really cool there. All right. So let's wait for the next bite. <laughs> I got I gotta get you guys to fish today, man. So I'm gonna do everything in my power and my knowledge. Uh, it's hard it's hard for a saltwater fisherman, you know, to kind of uh, adjust to fresh water. It, you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of fun, you know. It's kind of like uh, starting starting to learn how to fish again for the first time. Salt water is not that hard, really, man. You throw any bait out there and something to hit it. Here on fresh water, you have to actually know what you're doing. <laughs> and you have to uh, wait for the bite. You, you know, it's not like you can just catch a fish right away or, you know. You got to find the right spots, uh, right presentation. Everything's like uh, lighter, like lighter lines, smaller rods. So let's wait for the bite and uh, see how it goes down, guys. All right. I got a bite, guys. First bite of the day. And it's going. Oh, there you go. I got him. Oh, I wonder what it is. Here we go, here we go. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a big bass, guys. Wow. Go! Oh. Look at that sucker. That's a big bass, man. Oh, Look at that sucker, bro! Oh my gosh! Look at that big boy! Yeah! I know, I knew there was bass here, like nice sized bass, guys. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful bass. So, obviously I don't need bass. So I'm gonna re release the puppy up. And, uh, Try to get another one. Yes, sir. Come on, let it go. Let it go, buddy. All right. There we go. Beautiful bass. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Man, what a nice bite. Did you guys see that? What a great great bite man ah that was easily a two pounder man Woo! <laughs> yes sir well i could sit down and say uh mission accomplished uh like i said the weather's too hot for for crappie but bass are just fun to catch man they jump a lot they they fight and uh 
Man, they're fun. Well, let's get another one, guys. Man. That was cool. <laughs> well, guys, that's it for the spot. It didn't really produce a lot. I mean, it got, I got one good bass, which uh, I guess is good. I mean, it, it was a good fight. But now I'm going to move to my last spot, which is a uh, spillway. And uh, hopefully uh, we catch something there, guys. So let's get out of here. Let's go. Well, guys, this is our, our third and final spot that we are going to give it a shot here and uh hopefully you catch some uh crappie just give me one crappie and i'll be happy <laughs> i already caught one bass and uh hopefully we'll catch some more here in this spot right here and uh see if i can set up over here somewhere where it's not too too nasty I think we're here will be good. Yep. So let's give it a shot, guys. I hope we catch some uh, crappie, maybe some, maybe a bass or two, and that'll be uh, a, a complete day, a good day for me. And uh, so I got that uh, double uh, crappie setup, one on the bottom and one on the top, about. 14, 15 inches above the, the bottom one. And I got obviously the, the bobber for the, for the minnows and the little hook. And let's get to it guys. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying this little adventure uh, here. And the scenery, not catching much fish, man, but that's the way fishing is. And uh, sometimes you kill it, man. Sometimes you just gotta keep trying. It's just, you know, that's that's what it is man all right guys let's get it going guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoy the the blog style uh content here i um didn't get lucky with the crappie uh but i do promise you i will be back i will keep c continue to try i know the, the weather the cold weather is coming in now and i'll get i get more chances i live a couple of minutes from the from the lake and I will definitely bring you a good crappie video. But I still wanted to get out there and uh, do some research, if you will. Learn more how to crappie fish. And uh, just enjoy the day out there, you know, in the nice weather. Guys, subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope the audio was good and better. And uh, thank you. I appreciate you guys, uh, uh, all you guys who watch my videos. I really do. Till next time, guys. Skew!